we just finished our tour of the Yamada Genocide Memorial. This is a Roman Catholic church. Uh, it was constructed in the early 70s. And uh, of course the killings, mass killings had happened uh, for decades before the genocide of 1994. And through those years, really starting in 1959, I think was the first mass uh, massacre in, uh, against Tutsis in Rwanda. Uh, but each time uh, that threatened, people would run to the churches and would be saved. And it happened as late as 1992 when there was another uh, mass uh, murder and people ran to the churches and they were able to make it out alive. So in 1994, when the government initiated this genocide, people again ran to the churches, including this one. Uh, but this time, uh, there's a military outpost not far from here, and the soldiers and the militias came, and uh, using grenades, machetes, guns, clubs, uh, just anything they could get their hands on, uh, slaughtered uh, over 45,000 people in this area. And uh, I don't remember the exact number that were killed inside this church, but uh, there were hundreds of people that had come uh, for refuge in the church. And most of them were, uh, were murdered. The ones who did survive, uh, of course, were thought already dead, and somehow they were able to uh, disguise that. In this memorial, and of course, we can't take video inside, but uh, the clothes of the victims are all still there on the benches. You can feel them. Um, we went back to the mass graves behind. You can go down in them. Uh, the caskets are open, and you can see uh, the bodies, uh, just basically a collection of bones just massing on top of each other. Uh, it's just, it's, it's absolutely incredible and uh, sobering. So it was, yeah, and so of, of the churches that experienced uh, this kind of thing, this is, uh, this is the one, I believe, where uh, the, either the most were killed or uh, in this area um, the, the most uh, the highest number were killed uh, many of the people who did uh, the few who did uh, survive uh, fled back towards Kigali there's a marsh, a river, and a large marshy area it actually marks the boundary between this province and the Kigali province we're in the eastern province and many of the people fled there for safety and um, historically they had been able to hide out in the marshes. Uh, but there is actually another genocide, um, actually another genocide uh, memorial there uh, because sometime after this, uh, the militia actually went into the marshes and uh, slaughtered um, many, many more uh, there as well. Uh, I do not believe we are going to be stopping by there, but there are over 200 genocide memorial sites uh, we've been to the two main ones. This is, a, is one of the main ones, and then of course the one in Kigali uh, is, the, uh, is, the, is, a, is a big one.